some people got hurt and a guard got killed. And I was accused of leading that uprising. I was about 20 years old. And I'll never forget that day. If I'd have had a clue of what I was going to have to experience for the next nine years, I'd have made them kill me that day. So anyway, I, I was indicted by a grand jury. My first trial, a year later, the jury couldn't determine my guilt or innocence in my first trial. Then we had a second trial. And it was there in my second trial that I was convicted. I was in my early 20s. Think about standing up and being convicted for something that you didn't do. Think about growing up as a young child and your sister or your brother did something you got blamed for it and you got on time out for a few minutes. How hard and how angry you were. Think about you, you're going to lose your life. Standing in a cell for nine years when your basic mobility is from here to here. So during my second trial, the jury convicted me and asked me to stand. And I can hear the voice of the judge now, Mr. Graham, we have found you guilty and we sentenced you to die at San Quentin on December the 8th and to gas and penetrate to find your personhood and you were no longer with us. Within 15 minutes, I was on San Quentin death row, not knowing what to expect, not knowing that I would see tomorrow. Many people asked me when I was on death row how I was there. Still today, 30 years later, I came to explain it. And I'm still having the effects of being there. But I just want to say this about that for Think about every day of your life. Think about this day, the worst day of your life. The worst day you ever had. And I'm going tomorrow, I promise you, to be worse. That's death row. I never contemplated suicide during my time there. But there are many nights that I went off the grid, and it was perfectly okay if I didn't wake up the next morning. But I was fortunate to go back to those young students, Cindy and Brian. See, don't feel sorry for this old man. I'm okay. What happened to me is done and over with. No revenge, no retaliation. All I want is justice. I never received justice. But I can make sure what happened to me never happened to another person without me raising my voice. So those young students, when I leave, they continue to organize, got me new lawyers. And there I was. The courts overturned my conviction. They overturned my conviction. We had many arguments. But once they seen how the prosecutor systematically excluded all African American or people of color off our jury. And why they overturned it? Because African Americans are people of color in ordinary circumstances, they would have been great jurors. But in our case, due to the racism that was coming over, they didn't want African Americans or people of color to be exposed to it. They felt that they'd be more unfavorable to the prosecutor. So he made sure that he kicked everyone off. You would think now, this is how a criminal justice system works. Oh, Mr. Graham going to get people to color on his jury. In fact, the U.S. Supreme Court has just ruled on what? One case, just recently, where the guy, where he systematically excluded all African Americans. This is the U.S. Supreme Court made this decision just recently. But in 1976, the, the California Supreme Court made that same decision. Chief Justice Rosenberg, God bless her soul. When she got on the Supreme Court and became the Chief Justice, she started cleaning up and making sure justice was served. But she was the leading person in my case. And they overturned my conviction based upon how they systematically excluded African Americans. But my friend, the prosecutor paid no attention to what the, the court had said. My third trial with the jury, was living white. Every black or person of color will come through there that will be potential jurors. They will ask no trivial questions. Thank you. I would like to excuse.
jury of my sister. Thank you for being sorry. And out of all of my trials, I never kick a person of color. You could be in front of death penalty. I never touched you. Through over a hundred, maybe a thousand challenges that we had. So my third trial ended up all white. Again, the jury in my third trial couldn't determine my guilt or innocence. Then there was the fourth trial, a year later. 